Wag yung kayong magkadisgrasyahan tayo niya. Sinasabi ko yung madidisgrasya kayo. At madidisgrasya kayo. Hindi ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Natin, Director ng Philippine Nuclear Research Institute, Dr. Carlo A. Arcilla. Hi, Dr. Good morning! Welcome to Bagong Pilipinas. Alright, Doc, let's talk about nuclear energy. Paano ba ito makakatulong sa ating bansa? Una ganito, ano, uh, ang cost ng power sa Pilipinas ay isa sa pinakamataas sa buong mundo. Kung uh, titinan natin, for example, ang isang ref, isang libo, isang buwan, no? Ibig sabihin, kung isang Pilipinong pamilya ay umuwi ng 10,000, 15,000, 10% ng kanyang inuuwing pera, nagugugol sa kuryente lang. That's right. Kung ibang countries po, may mga relatives sa yung nasa ibang bansa, mm -hmm. less than 1%. Kung nasa Europe po, you know, in the world, there are 450 nuclear power plants. 100 nasa U.S., 60 na sa France, 50 sa Japan. Sa lahat ng country sa may nuclear, ang baba po ng cost ng kuryente. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, strong economic growth and talagang rising population dito sa ating mm -hmm. bansa. Do you think this is it? This is the answer to this? Opo. Kasi una po, ang nangyayari, ano, yung ating malampaya na pinagkukunan natin ng gas, mauubos na in 5 to 8 years. Mm -hmm. Eh, nandyan yan sa West Philippine Sea. Hindi naman tayo makaka-explore dahil may umangkin na yan eh, di ba? So, wala pong kapalit niyan. Ang ating geothermal, number two tayo sa buong mundo, yung malalaking fields ay ano na, na nakuha na. Okay. So, saan ka kukuha? Ang pinaka malinis po, ah, na walang, ah, walang carbon dioxide ay nuclear. Mahalang yung ah, kapital sa simula, pero over ah, an extended period of time, Ma mababawi po siya. That's right, Doc. Kasi may nagsasabi na nuclear energy, this is really economically viable. Mm -hmm. And sinasabi nila na ito na daw, ito yung contribute in reducing high cost of electricity. That's right. And sinasabi nila yung carbon dioxide emission. Mm -hmm. Pero ang tanong ng marami, is this safe? Kasi mm -hmm. sinasabi nila hazardous daw yung nuclear wastes, which is talagang centuries daw bago ma-breakdown mm -hmm. o bago ito uh, maayos. Actually, magaling tanong po. Kasi out of, una nga, no? Kung hazardous, bakit may 100 nuclear plants si Amerika? Yung operation mission ng nuclear power plants, uh, ang, ang kanyang record ng accidents, ay very, very few. In fact, compare mo sa coal, ang dami pong namamatay sa coal, uh, sa dams, pag nag-break yung dams. Mm -hmm. Yung tanong nu nuclear waste, mabuti po tinanong niyan, kasi yan po yung pinaka number one. Kasi yung nuclear waste, hindi yan, uh, hindi yan makihinto hanggang 10,000 years. So ang solution po dyan, na ipropose kung, kung sakaling ituloy ni President Digong na mag-nuclear tayo, deep burial sa boreholes. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi po yung geothermal wells, nag na po tayo ng dalawang kilometro. So pwede mong i i ilibing yung nuclear waste dyan, uh, balutin mo ng tinatawag ng, uh, uh, ng bentonite, hindi na makakatakas yung nuclear waste. It's very safe. Tapos pwede kang i-isolate in an island. Ang dami nating islands na walang, uh, na, na very few ang mga, uh, ang mga taong uh, katabi. And in fact, yung technology pong yan, pinag-aaralan na mabuti. Yan po yung research ko eh. Yes. I'm willing to stay in the island na paglalagyan ng anong yan, ng nuclear waste, pati ng nuclear plant, to just demonstrate it's safe. Hindi, kasi talagang yun ang pinaka-takot ng lahat. Yun kasi... nga po, pero it's ano eh, uh, parang fake news yan eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi uh, wala pa talagang, it can, be, it can be demonstrated. Well, actually, mm -hmm. sinabi nga ni Department of Energy, Yusek Marcos, na halos 75% ng requirement ng base load when it comes to energy security ng ating bansa, pwedeng makuha sa nuclear energy. Kaya sa mutsaring forum na rin yung mga ginagawa ngayon, Sir, would like to know, nasa na ba tayo? Anong status na nito ngayon dito sa ating bansa? Ang ano po yata, kasi ang nakakaalam po sana yan, yan si DOE. Mm -hmm. Ang pagkakaalam po yung desisyon para magluluclear tayo ay na kay Presidente Digong na. Okay. Pag sinabi niya pong uh, magluluclear tayo, may steps po yan. Uh, nagagawin. Uh, meron tayong first yung law, kasi like sa amin, kami ang regulator at promoter, dapat ihiwalay kami. Dapat may Philippine Nuclear Regulatory Commission mm -hmm. na independent. No? Uh, Ibig sabihin, uh, siya magsasabi kung ang may nuclear, may problema kayo, hinto kayo, siya mag-regulate. No? Tapos iba po yung promotional aspect, like yung uh, sa research. That's one step. Marami pong steps. No? Even sa law, sa IPIRA, may impact po yan. Kasi bababa talaga, 
yung kuryente pero hindi lang isang planta dapat medyo at medyo may number ka. Yeah, talagang we're looking for more alternative ways naman mm -hmm. kung paano mapapababa uh, mm -hmm. and to provide uh, energy security dito sa ating right. bansa kasi mm -hmm. alam naman natin talagang rising population mm -hmm. din ang Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Pero may ba naman tayo doc? Mm -hmm. Pag-usapan natin National Science and Technology mm. Week 2018. Tell That's us more right. about this. Malapit na. Yeah, it will start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yan sa World Trade Center. Mandated po yan kasi to demonstrate uh, yung uses ng nuclear energy sa pang-araw-araw na, ano, na, na kabuhayan. No? Meron niya dyan mangyayari uh, sa uh, the workplace, nasa, uh, nasa, ano, nasa, uh, nasa school or mm -hmm. whatever. Cool po yan. Everybody can go and This you can see. This is public, uh, public free admission. Uh, free. Mm -hmm. World Trade Center. May mga restricted uh, seminars lang but you can go. Napaka-cool po yan. Marami kang makikita. At saka advancements po ng Philippine scientists natin. No? Uh, marami pong advances ng Philippine science hindi alam right. ng mga tao. No? Doc, invite natin yung ating mga viewers. Tomorrow na po ang National Science and Technology Week 2018. Doc? Oh, oh. Pumunta po kayo, mga kababayan, sa National Science and Technology Week World Trade Center. Uh, sometimes nakikita natin na parang nahuhuli ang Pilipinas. Hindi mm -hmm. po. Makikita ninyo kung anong ginawa ng mga kababayan natin. Marami pong mga galing na mga siyentipiko at saka makikita yung practical na application po nito sa bahay, sa sa workplace at saka sa ibang lugar, no? Sa may mga displays, yung iba interactive, makikita po ninyo. At saka may mga scientists po kayong mamimit din doon. So, mag magagaling po ang mga Pinoy, hindi lang po nakikilala kasi uh, mga siya yung mga scientists. Yes. Oy, pero suportahan natin ang mga Filipino scientists yes, natin opo. at yung technology natin, kaya na rin natin makipagsabayan globally. Opo, marami pong ganito ah, yung mga Filipino scientists and engineers have built the Middle East. Yes. They export lang, pero magaling po sila. So, pumunta po kayo. Alright. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. That was Dr. Carlo A. Arcinia, Director ng Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you po. Ngayon naman, alamin natin itong Franchise Asia Philippines Expo 2018. So, whatever, whenever, wherever. Suporta sa ating mga entrepreneur at upang maipahayag ang kahalagahan ng franchising sa ating ekonomiya, ay magsasagawa ang Philippine Franchise Association Incorporated ng isang expo, ang Franchise Asia Philippines 2018, na gaganapin sa lungsod ng Pasay. Kaugnay niya, nito lamang ay nagdaos ng Prescon ang naturang samahan sa lungsod ng Makati upang mahikayat ang publiko na makiisa sa kanilang advokasya. The vision, vision of uh, PMA which is to create thousands of small businesses and millions of jobs. So far, we've created uh, at least 150,000 small businesses, franchisees, and we've created no less than 2 million jobs, so we fulfilled that. The conference is a major part, as we said, it's the biggest gathering of franchise leaders. We have 1,000 delegates, 50 speakers from all over, all over Asia, from the U.S. Um, and from Europe. We have a keynote by DTI Secmon Lopez. We have people talking about international expansion. With over 50% fresh concepts, of food concepts in the food park day, the first time exhibitors. From Filipino favorites such as Banghel, um, Bugao, among others. And for international, we have the uh, Japanese pancakes, ramen, lemonades, shakes and coffees. Be the boss. Ito ang tema ng Expo ngayong taon na magpapakita ng kakayahan ng ating franchising industry na gumawa ng daan-daang negosyo. Gayun din ang magbigay ng libu-libong trabaho sa ating mga kababayan. We're encouraging more people to go into business, into entrepreneurship. We're in before, more, most people are focused on being employees. So now we're changing the mindset. Have your own business. Be the own boss. You own this business. And uh, the best way to do it is really to start with franchising. But there are about 700 booths. One booth will have at least one brand, of course, but some booths might have a few more brands. So. Conservatively, I can say there will be about at least 750 brands minimum uh, for 700 booths. Franchise Asia 2018 is the annual show wherein we give the seminars. The seminars are we bring experts from overseas so that our members 
can learn more about the trends in franchising. This is uh, meant to be the largest franchise show ever natin. Um, first of all, we have the largest franchise food park in the world. Yung food park na yan, maraming mga up and coming brands. Well, actually, over 50% of the brands there are bago, first time exhibitors. We also have the biggest international delegation. May two, over 200 brands tayo na international. And total, we'll have over 700 brands coming into Franchise Asia. So anyone who wants to get into franchising, they'll have 700 choices to look at um, and, and, and owners and, and brands to talk to. Lagi rin tandaan na ang aktibong pakikilahok at voluntarismo ng bawat isa sa atin ay ilan sa mga susi upang matamo ang hinahangad natin na mas maunlad na pamayanan. We like to invite the viewers to come to Franchise Asia. The conference is from uh, 19 to 20 at, uh, at SMX, but the expo is 20 to 22, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, please do come early. We're expecting about uh, 60,000 visitors, so do come. Mga kababayan, bilang efforts pa rin na ating pamahalaan na matulungan ng mga simpleng mamaya ng bansa.